Hello kit heads, we are talking kits, the home of the best football shirt content, which is for football kit fanatics, made by football kit fanatics. On this video, we're doing a little something different, not your usual one hour, two hour podcast that you get on talking kit. Oh no, 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 no. Today, double A, that's me, is ranking 10 of my shirts from my personal collection from 10 to 1 and each story behind why I've chosen that shirt and why I like it and decided to purchase it really. Um, so it's a little bit different, the other two boys aren't here with me so it's only me, I hope you can stick around. But before we get into it, just check this out. Thank you Double A, what's up kit heads? If it is your first time talking kit, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and complete the hat trick by hitting the bell notification button for every time we release new content. Let's get back to the video though. I'm the best looking guy on YouTube. Thank you Double A for those kind words. So before we get into the top 10, what I thought I would do is just talk to you about the shirt I am currently wearing because it was number 10 originally on the list. But someone reminded me of another shirt, thank you Hannah, my girlfriend, uh, of another shirt that I had to put in as number 10. So it's dropped down to unofficially number 11. So obviously the Barcelona 04 to 05 away shirt, which then was the 05 to 06 third shirt. Obviously, the T90 template, which I love. Uh, it's got Eto on the back. Just misses out. Great shirt. I was going to put it in, but someone has beaten it. So let's check out what shirt has knocked it down to number 11 and get into number 10 on my list. So shirt 10 on my list is this one here. Uh, you probably all know it if you're into your kits. Very, very famous shirt from 2020. Forward Madison third shirt made by Hummel. My first ever Hummel shirt, notably. Um, yeah, look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. The pattern in the shirt, obviously the badge and the Hummel and the sponsor are all sublimated. It's just a beautiful shirt, isn't it? That sort of watercolour sort of pattern across the shirt. Uh, the reason why I did buy it is because um, we had a gender reveal for my daughter uh, in 2021. And obviously being me, I wanted to wear a football shirt to the gender reveal. And I think this just is perfect. I didn't know if I was in a boy or a girl. And yeah, look at it. It's just a beautiful shirt. So it's got that memory of discovering I was having a daughter. So the pink probably means a little bit more than the blue. But yeah, it's a great shirt. And this is the one I had to put in my list just for those memories. And it also being an absolute banger. So yeah, Forward Madison 2023rd shirt is number 10 on my list. On to shirt number nine now, and we're heading to the Far East. The very first Japanese team shirt that I own, the 92-93 home shirt from the Kashima Antlers. I mean, just look at it. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I mean, the pattern in within the shirt, the fact that Kashima and the Antlers are like painted on. It's obviously Aneri, which is a beautiful, beautiful manufacturer of shirts. Let's hope they come back one day. That would be brilliant, you know, some of the Napoli shirts and... Roma and all them kind of shirts that they've done uh, back in the day. Yeah, this is just up there. The season before the J League, the inaugural J League season. So it's just a beautiful shirt. An eBay purchase as well. So it's um, got it for a nice price as well. I can't really complain at the price I bought it for. Um, really love Japanese shirts. Um, and obviously this being the sort of most successful team in Japan makes it all the more better. Um, yeah, but I'm just a big fan of it. The colours work really well. The pattern on the collar... And it, it rightfully needs to be in the top 10 shirts in my collection. So yeah, the 92, 93 home shirt from the Kashima Antlers, definitely there, placed number nine on my list. On to number eight now, and they were always going to be in the list for me, and it is Brazil, obviously. My national team, the team I support internationally. So yeah, it's the 2019 white shirt, special shirt. I think it goes down as a third shirt or anything like that, but... Yeah, Brazilian white, absolutely amazing. And I love this shirt. I had to purchase it when it came out. Obviously, they won the Copa America uh, this year. Obviously, I think they wore it in the first game um, that kicked off the tournament. But it's just great. It's the blue and the white. Obviously, Brazil changed the colours from white back in 1950 after losing the World Cup final to Uruguay in the Maracanã. Public outrage, people just absolutely fuming that they lost the world cup obviously then changed to the famous yellow and green and blue but yeah just harking back to this i think it's the first time they've wore it in 79 years um but yeah it's just absolutely perfect i love it it's one of them shirts i don't like to wear because it's white 
and I don't trust myself around white shirts. So yeah, I try not to wear it as much, but it is a great, great shirt. Great for sunny days, which you don't get a lot of, obviously in uh, good old Manchester and stuff. But yeah, I love it. Absolutely perfect. And Brazil had to be on my list. So number eight, the Brazil 2019 special shirt going down as one of the best for me. We're at number seven now in my top 10 shirts from my personal collection. And we're heading over to Gay Paris. We're off to Paris, Paris Saint-Germain. And I mean, what can I say about this shirt? It's just absolutely stunning. PSG and Jordan just got it right, didn't they? There's so many of their shirts that just look great. I mean, I've got one here, obviously the Neymar name set looking beautiful as well. That very well could have been in the list. But this had to just go in there. I mean, it's just look at it. I'm not a big fan of fashion shirts per se. You know, it's been known I've said sh shirts should be of the traditional colours of clubs. You think back, you know, Manchester United, red, white, sometimes blue and black. But this just is perfect. It's almost like a, a pre-match shirt or a training shirt. But it's just absolutely stunning. It's just the effects, the colours. Even the sponsor looks great ac across it and stuff like that. It's not the vape in it. I won't mind getting a vape, my hands on a vape in it maybe one day. But yeah, for this one, it's just absolutely beautiful, obviously. Worn by Neymar and uh, Mbappe and players like that. And it's just, I love wearing it. Um, it's so good. My girlfriend likes it and she ain't a fan of most of my kits. It has to be said. So it has to go down as one of my favourite in my collection. Number seven, the PSG fourth shirt from 2021. Number six on my list, and it is my second team. They almost got in a little earlier, but now they are definitely in the list. It is the Barcelona 98-99 home shirt. It's possibly my favourite home shirt from, from Barcelona. Uh, the first they had with Nike after leaving Kappa, and it's just absolutely glorious. The centralised bars, the centralised Nike logo. The dark blue, the dark red, it's just absolutely great. Obviously worn by players like Guardiola, Figo, Rivaldo, uh, Xavi, I think it was his first season, Xavi, uh, in this shirt. And I just, yeah, it just takes me back to being a kid, falling in love with Barcelona, which is why uh, they are my second team. Um, and it's just, I just love it. The old school sort of Nike tag down at the bottom. It doesn't have the, the Liga patch on this one, no name set. It doesn't have the Liga patch. Um, it has the sort of Barcelona or Barca stitched in, which I do love. But it's just an absolute banger of a shirt. And, you know, I'm in the process of thinking about collecting all of Barcelona's home shirts. I said some a few. Obviously, they got quite bad the last couple of years. Looking like they've gone back um, to a great shirt this season or for next season, 22-23, going back to the darker colours. But, yeah, this one is just right up there. I think it's possibly I had this one as a kid, the first one. I had as a kid, uh, there's a spate of two or three seasons. I was just constantly getting Barcelona home shirts. And this one is the one that kicked it off for me. Glad that I've got it again. Uh, obviously, I won't fit in the ones I had as a kid, unfortunately. But got this one now and it's great and it had to be in my list. So number six, the Barcelona 98-99 home shirt has it having to be in double A's top 10 shirts. Okay, it's Bon Jovi time because we're halfway there. Number five on the list of my top 10 shirts from my personal collection. And it is this absolute banger. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this shirt. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. Beautiful. Inter Milan third shirt from 2021. And it's just, it's just great. Obviously, it harks back to the 97-98 third slash cup shirt. Worn famously by R9 Ronaldo. And also the 04 to 06 third shirt, more famously by Adriano, another Brazilian. Um, yeah, so it's like the third version of this shirt, but it's just as beautiful as the other two. Obviously, it's got the standard sort of heart back to the T90 Nike logo, centralised badge, which is looking great. Obviously, the classic Pirelli, rest in peace, no longer with us. But it's just beautiful. And it, every time Inter Milan do this shirt, it's an absolute banger. Don't own the other two, but I will be getting them for my collection so I can complete the hat trick, as you might want to say. But this is just an absolute shirt. A newest, newer version or one of the newer shirts I've got in my collection. Uh, got it recently, but it's just had to be in there because it's just an absolute 
beautiful shirt. Um, yeah, it's just everything about it. I love wearing it. Uh, my daughter loves it because she likes to be sick on it every time I've worn it and she's been around me. So, yeah, this one I'm keeping away from her from now on. So, into Milan, 2021 20, third shirt, coming in at number five on my list. Okay, we're doing something Arsenal can't do now and that's get into the top four. So let's get straight into it. And it's Brazil again on this one. And do I need to say anything about this shirt and how, how nice it is? It's just the perfect shirt. It's Brazil, 19, I think it went down as 1998 and 2000 home shirt. And it's probably one of the best Brazil home shirts of all time. It's so vibrant, the green and the yellow just pop off the shirt. It's no name set. Contemplating getting a Ronaldo name set on there. I do have the away shirt to this with a Ronaldo name set, although it hasn't made my top 10 list. But this just had to be in there because it just reminds me of 1998, the best World Cup that's ever been. You know, you think of that team, Ronaldo, Rivaldo, um, Roberto Carlos, Cafu, the Nielsen as well, the famous advert for Nike in the airport as well. It's a shame they didn't win the World Cup. Obviously, you know the stories of Ronaldo and just them not turning up against France in the final. But this still goes down as one of the best shirts of all time, especially for me. And yeah, not long had it. It's one I've been chasing, so I got it. Uh, good price as well, I have to say that. So um, yeah, I had to go in my list because it's one of my favourite shirts of all time. So it hits number four of my all-time great shirts in my collection. Brazil, 98 to 2000 home shirt by Nike. And yeah, the Selecao. Just doing us proud with some great shirts again. So number three then on my list of the top 10 shirts from my personal collection. And it's probably the most sought after or spoke about shirt from 21-22 season. And it is the Ajax third shirt inspired by Bob Marley. And obviously his song Three Little Birds which is played at the Amsterdam Arena for Ajax. And it just had to be purchased. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shirt. Big Bob Marley fan um, from my dad and my mum. So when it's come out, obviously it's one of them. I had to just get it. But it also looks great as well. Uh, and I just I just love Ajax shirts as well. In general, I've got quite a few. Uh, one of my favourite shirts of all time is an Ajax away shirt, which I don't have. I had as a kid. Hopefully going to be getting that again. But this one, it's just great, isn't it? And I think a lot of people bought this shirt for the same reasons I probably did as well. So I managed to get it from my dad as well, which is great. He's a big Bob Marley fan, like I said. So it was great that I could get that for him. But it had to go in my list because it's just a great a great shirt. Also as well, this is the shirt I was wearing the day my daughter was born. I wanted to wear a football shirt, uh, which I know could be a bit tricky in the hospital and stuff like that. But I just wanted to make sure I was wearing a shirt with the day she was born. And this is the one that I was wearing. So it holds even more special memories to for me now. Um, because every time I look at it, I just think of her, so it's great. So yeah, number three on my list, Ajax third shirt from 21-22. Okay, we're now into the top two of my greatest shirts in my collection. And it's a tricky one between these two. It was a toss-up. One has just beaten the other. So number two on my list is this. It's the Manchester United 92-93 to 93 away shirt from the first season of the Premier League, which Manchester United obviously won. I can't really describe it. I can't really find words to say how amazing this shirt is. It's just easily to put it. If I put it really easily, it's my favourite Manchester United away shirt of all time. Um, narrowly beating out the black Cantona Kung Fu shirt from the mid-90s. It's just magnificent. It, it really is beautiful. Obviously, the... Old school Umbro, Sharp, classic Manchester United sponsor. It's got the proper Man United badge. United fans will know that. Has the football club there as well. The big sublimated Manchester United crest there. The little collar. Obviously, my favourite player on the back, Eric Cantona. Uh, the first season he signed for the club. And it's just everything. The pattern within the shirt. It's just really is amazing. Um... What really holds this up and makes it in the top two for my shirts is the story behind it. So, as you may or may not know, I've got a season ticket to Manchester United. I go with my old man and we went to a game, I think it was 2017 against Spurs. And I was talking to him about sort of collecting football shirts. And I'd seen this shirt on Classic Football Shirts. Shout out Classic Football Shirts. And I was talking to him about it and he liked it. And then I, shot, I told him the price. And he looked at me like I was crazy. He just looked at me like, what, why would you want to pay 
that much for a shirt, obviously not knowing how much I love shirts. And I thought nothing more of it, obviously, we watched the game, um, and then a couple of days later, I've gone to buy the shirt, and it's gone off the website. I was devastated. That, that's, that's putting it mildly. I was absolutely gutted. I missed out on, on buying this shirt, and I thought, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to try and source another one from somewhere. And then, yeah, fast forward even further than that, and, you know, we go to Christmas. I go to round to my old man's. I opened up my present and it was this shirt. What he'd done was that day at Old Trafford, he'd gone home that night and purchased the shirt for me. And yeah, I can't really thank him enough for it. It's, it is the greatest shirt, the second greatest shirt, I have to say, that I do own. Uh, as you may have noticed as well, I managed to get it signed by the great man himself, Eric Cantona. Uh, so the story goes, I managed to get some tickets for Soccer Aid, free, might I add. And yeah, he was the manager of the rest of the world team. Stayed behind after the game, waited around 45 minutes to an hour for him to emerge. And yeah, managed to get it signed. I got a picture with him and I'm going to overlay that for you now to have a look. Um, but funnily enough, the first put picture I took, it was blurry. Couldn't believe it. I was absolutely devastated. But thank you to Modern Technology. It was luckily a live photo, so I've held it down. Mine is a screenshot and it's the picture you can see over screen. And yeah, this is why it's the second best shirt in my collection. Manchester United, 92 to 93 away shirt. Yeah, it's just amazing. So here we go. We have reached the summit. The number one shirt in my collection, numero uno, the GOAT, is this. The 94 to 95 Brazil home shirt. It is just a stunning piece of football shirt, and rightly so, my number one. Everything about it, I absolutely love. The Brazil logo, the three stars, the three sublimated big Brazil logos, which signify, at the time, their three World Cup wins. The classic umbro with just the lettering, the CBF, the collar, just everything about this shirt is just absolutely amazing. The number 18, which I will come to very, very soon. And yeah, this was a Christmas present from my girlfriend, my number one Grail shirt. She didn't even realise it was my number one Grail shirt. She just bought it because she know she knows I love Brazil. I may have got a little bit emotional when I opened it at Christmas, uh, but that's just uh, a dirty rumour. So yeah, the reason why I wanted this number eighteen shirt in particular is because of this: the Ronaldinho name set. Now it's not the Ronaldinho you may think it is, but R nine Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo. He was in this ninety four World Cup squad. But due to a defender called Ronaldo being in the same squad, he had to be called Ronaldinho, which means little or small Ronaldo in Portuguese. So yeah, it's a great story. And obviously he went on to become one of the greatest players of all time. My favourite United um, favourite player outside of Manchester United. So yeah, it's a reason why I wanted this shirt. I just love everything about it. Obviously the 94 World Cup is the first World Cup I remember as a kid and the reason why I actually support Brazil. So yeah, I just had to have this in my collection. Luckily, I have got it and that's why it goes down as my number one shirt in my collection. So there you have it, the top 10 shirts in my personal collection. I hope you've enjoyed the selection on offer in this video. Let me know in the comments which shirt is your favourite and also why don't you tell me your top 10 shirts in your own collections as well. If it is your first time talking kit, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and complete the hat trick by hitting the bell notification. We will be coming back with some more amazing football shirt content soon. I've been Double A and don't forget to keep talking kit. Thank you.